going on YouTube, it's your boy Maurice here with another review and today we're going to be looking at Studio Series Core Class Wheelie. Before we get to the review, as always, let's look at the accessories. <clears throat> and again, it ain't much. It comes with a little slingshot, very nicely sculpted, especially for being a Hasbro product. You know, not bad. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at this guy. The head sculpt, very nice. Some metallic blue eyes. Silver for the face. I like the great trim he's got going on on the lid of his hat or helmet. And then the, the soft orange. Head rotates all the way around. It's on a on a tab. Uh, it's also the tabs connected to a hinge, so he can look up a little bit. Nothing really down. No wiggly waggly. Nothing like that. Shoulders <clears throat> on a ball peg. And the ball peg is connected to a hinge, so he can go all the way around. He can come out to there, and then on the hinge, you can go all the way up, and then rotate that all you want. So that's pretty cool. Elbows, ball peg, rotation there, silver for the hands, no movement there. Uh, nice Autobot symbol with the soft orange. Uh, nothing at the waist. Legs are on ball pegs. So you can kick up that far. Can kick back once you get past his butt. And go around it, but that's about it. Out to there. A little bit of rotation at the at the thigh because of the ball peg, but you do have ball peg knees, so you have all the rotation there. A little bit of 90. Stops because of the wheel. And nothing for the feet, just down due to transformation. <clears throat> so there's that guy. Nice gray paint for the knees and the feet. That's what it looks like from the back. A lot of people are hating this. I mean, yeah, it looks weird, but you're not really displaying him from the back. And he's a lot better than what that Grimlock came with. So. <clears throat> so there you go with that. And so for some comparisons, here's our boy. see how that works uh, and here is the previous version of wheelie see how that works so he is smaller which is good for me at least for my collection <clears throat> First, we're gonna do is clip the arms in, and we're gonna keep them here for the time being. Then we're gonna lift this up, open the back, hide his head in there. And then you're just gonna rotate the feet at a sitting position because these are like on like drop down hinges. So you wanna drop them down and drop them down. Straighten the feet, rotate in at the knee, peg them together. And then two tabs there, two holes there. And we are gonna rotate that all the way down. Then you can bring the buff flap down. It's got a tab here for a slot there. Same for the other side. One there, the other one here. Just squeeze, they're not the tightest, but they hold, at least on my copy. I've seen others people struggle with that. And that is him in a nutshell. All right, and for weapon storage, that goes right in his butt, literally. 
Stick that in there. Boom. I think rolls fine. Let's take a look at him. So this is very nice. It, it, overall, it looks nice. It just, I wish the hands, like I guess everybody's wish was that the hands weren't here. Like maybe fold in or some shit. But <clears throat> overall, it's not a bad little figure, man. Especially for 10 bucks. Can't go wrong. You know, all the paint accents fit perfectly in this car mode. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not, it's not bad. I mean, he definitely shies in the robot mode, but this isn't bad compared to his previous alt mode, which is a lot better. It's also a lot bigger. But there you go. All right, back to robot mode. What we're gonna do is take his weapon from his butt, untab the arms, move the butt flap up, grab your little trusty tool, and we are going to start maneuvering here. There we go, bam. Alright, the legs, we're going to separate, move buff flap, and then on this weird hinge, you're going to move them out, move them out, or rotate them down, turn at the knees, flip up the feet, legs are done, this we're going to move out of the way completely, like so, this is going to come all the way down, it's going to tap right into his chest, supposed to grab his head on the way out there you go tab into his chest untab the arms from each other get him his weapon And there you go. That is a review for Studio Series Core Class Wheelie. Let me know what you think. Is this guy for you? Is he too big booty for you? Is he just not your style? I mean, there's not another wheelie out there that fits in Legends. We tried with the other one. It didn't really, it was kind of big. This one's the smallest one we have available. So let us know what you think. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace out.